show today blew my mind. Was that the whole show? Is the whole show there just five minutes of dancing? Yeah, but Damon Lindelof wrote it, and he has been on a hot streak lately. Oh, man. Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? Oh, Cloud. Now that was a show. Cloud? I don't want to talk to you. Cloud? <laughs> I'm so fucking embarrassed. Hello? Playable Aerith. Wow. Whoa. We're, we're groundbreaking here. <laughs> Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! I would give anything Very brief, playable, playable air. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and we're done. Yeah. So yeah, in the previous episode, when we could peep into those doors, there's one place that had this, this very short man in it. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be seeing more of him later. Oh, okay. Shinra upper manager. Oh! I'd never get tired of this place. Now for a nice long massage at Madam M's. Director, we really must be going. Not more meetings. Can't you reschedule? Not for a third time, no. <laughs> Surely it's not impossible. It is. This dude's name is Palmer, and he wants to get a hand massage? Whoa. I've, I've cracked the code. I figured it out. <laughs> hey, middle manager. Hey, middle manager. Oh, you're the one from the show! You were amazing! Oh, topside girls have nothing on you! I've never felt so <laughs> That's ready my favorite to take Billy Joel song. <laughs> middle manager of the month, here I come! Your performance was everything. Please, can I have your autograph? Okay, but you have to tell nobody that I'm Avalanche, okay? <laughs> That's the deal. You stop chasing us. Or whatever it is that you do at Whatever your job. it is that you think that you do, please stop doing it. <laughs> yeah. So happy my entire life. So yeah, if you pop back in here, uh, there's some new dialogue hanging around. We can talk to Andrea Rodea, who's just hanging out. Your equipment will be delivered to you at the appropriate time. Don't worry. I know people. You know uh, FedEx? Us. Damn. <laughs> Give them a show. We, uh, check in on Johnny's dad. Uh, he's just fucking passed out <laughs> from looking at asses for too long. He's not a young man anymore. <laughs> Can only take so many ass-based quiz shows before, uh, you get tuckered out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which is something that the uh, ABC lineup scheduler has yet to learn. <laughs> hey there, you the new girl? One of our customers had to cancel. Poor guy fainted at the Coliseum from all the excitement. Or so I heard. From like this comment wow, and like some of the stuff the NPCs say yeah, just outside of this place, I have to wonder just how many like casualties are there per day of just old people getting too horny or too excited <laughs> and just dying in the streets. <laughs> like, it feels like it's a couple a day maybe. I'm just trying to figure out if all those things on hangers meant that was the coat check room Don't or the gift shop. Mm. After all, we honeybees need fresh flowers to pollinate. Get away from me. <laughs> Ladies are weird. As, as silly as it is to only last 30 seconds, I do like playable Aerith because, you know, Cloud is so embarrassed and so ashamed mm -hmm. that he won't even let the player get close to him. Yeah. I, I see you. I get you. Mm -hmm. That very, very brief moment where you're playing as Aerith too earlier, right after Cloud gets the hand massage. Because mm -hmm. he's just so out of it after having his hand touched. <laughs> what is this? That's my fetish! What is this? <laughs> Are you going to immunize a, a giant? <laughs> is Atlas getting his MMR vaccine? <laughs> is she one of the new girls they hired recently? That pay off my huge debts. So like the dressmakers here, I don't know where Johnny goes, because they were like big buds when you left them together. 
Mm -hmm. I thought Johnny would be somewhere in the inn, but he's like nowhere to be found, so. Oh, jo Johnny said hi to everybody, took care of all the business he needed to do in about 20 seconds. <laughs> he's very fast, that boy. Johnny somehow maintains four full-time jobs. Damn. I hear you make good money. Just woke up one day and realized I'm not a queen bee anymore. Now I'm the queen bee. <laughs> so yeah, Cloud's got uh, those earrings on when you're doing the dancing mini game with uh, Andrea. If you do good enough on it, he gives you those earrings. They don't do anything, oh, they just nice. add to the look. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. <laughs> You got any special dialogue for me? Hey, hey, who's got special dialogue? A Come lot of on. NPCs do, including uh, this guy here who is just blown away. Like, he has to take two steps back. And even if you just, like, stand here, he will just continually get, like, shocked. Ag again and again. Who is she? I need to learn everything about her. <laughs> hey, Chadley. Chadley. Forgive me, miss, but the way you're staring at me is rather... I never believed it. Oh, but love oh, at goodness. first sight does exist. I'm experiencing an emotional response. Chadley? <laughs> Chadley? What is this emotional response? Chadley! I both do and do not want to know the answer to that question. <laughs> Whatever happened, I just unlocked something in Chadley's brain. That's all I know that happened, and I don't need to know anymore. That's for him. Hey, uh, did, did fighting the giant ice woman uh, have any sort of emotional response, Chadley? I just want to see where you're at. <laughs> what, what about uh, the, the, the scissoring motorcycle version? <laughs> well, shit. Don't know how, but somehow I managed to do right by you. Everyone's so supportive. I know. From yours truly. What can I say? You help me out, and one good turn deserves another, I reckon. Wasn't easy finding something that'd give you a fighting chance against Tifa, though. Something that's tight in all the right places. And lets the other bits out to breathe, you know? Please don't talk about my bits, sir. <laughs> oh, <that is> cute. <laughs> Wish you were wearing it? God, no! That was some performance. Hell, my heart skipped a beat. Well, I've done my part. Don't know how this will all go, but I can't How do you think Aerith out. feels right now? Like, she gets all dolled up. She's mm -hmm. like the, the queen of, of uh, uh, Shinra all of a sudden, and everybody just wants to talk to Cloud instead. I know. <laughs> it just fucking steals the show 10 seconds after she puts her shit on. The original game is definitely more like haha -ha, man in dress than this one is. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad that they did some work to make it like, they spent a decent amount of time leading up to this part, just make it seem like Cloud's just more a stick in the mud who doesn't want to have fun. Yeah, it, it's more about Cloud specifically. <laughs> mm hmm I wouldn't recommend lifting in that outfit. But if you need to work up a sweat later, feel free to pop into the gym. But, so yeah, this is one of three dresses you can get for Cloud. Uh, Cloud's dresses are based on some of the answers you give people uh, throughout the wall market section and also how many side quests you do. Um, so this is like the best dress you can get for him if you do everything. <laughs> I feel like if Cloud has one dress, okay, mm -hmm. it, it was it was required, you know, yeah. I had to jump through some poops. If he has three dresses, he's got to confront the fact he likes honest, wearing dresses. <laughs> yeah. Curious, you know, I'm, I'm not going to really tell him what that I means, but like I think he has that. to figure it out. Yeah. In the original game, there's only just there was just a dress. Uh, none of the dresses you can get from for him here are quite what his was in the original. And the original is just like a all blue dress with a giant red ribbon on the back. Aerith and Tifa, their dresses, you can get like the actual ones they had from the original game. Like what she, what Aerith is wearing right now is what she has in the original. I love the way he folds his hands. So oh yeah. It's very good. So there's a save editor 
uh, program that you can very easily download that lets you edit save files for a bunch of Square Enix games, including this one, and you can actually change Cloud Tifa and Aerith so that they're wearing their dresses throughout the entire game. <laughs> Even in battle and stuff, it's pretty fun. D does it keep the the dress wearing animations? Because like, yeah, his whole walk and everything's different. Uh, no, he has a normal walk, I think. Okay. Yeah. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Anyway, time to go audition to be the wife of the guy who is implied to have killed many wives. <laughs> this will be fun. Uh-oh. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Are you here for the Yakuza game? It's... it's... Uh... Like I said, Walmart, it feels like a Yakuza game. <laughs> Welcome to the mansion of the esteemed Don Cornea. That man's voice sounds like uh, the mid-2000s uh, Toon Disney uh, <laughs> announcer. Coming up next on Jetix. You can't afford a single thing in this place, so don't break shit. Corneo Lackey, uh, uh, who you may recall from Sonic X. <laughs> uh. There's been plenty of parts of this remake that are trying to very accurately, you know, recreate parts of the original. This one was really weird to see because the layout is like one for one the same. Like mm -hmm. they took still took liberties with a lot of other stuff, making them bigger and more expansive, hey, you know, expansive, but this is just what it was <laughs> what the, the room was <laughs> in the original. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Mm hmm? Room's at the end. Keep walking. Sweet smell. And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. <clears throat> Damn it. Cloud. Maybe this is why everybody's passing out in the honeybee uh. inn. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad there's subtitles in these games because these dudes have such a gas mask filter over them. It's like ten psychomantises on these guys. <laughs> Alright, now you threaten Batman. Mm -hmm. Come on. You wanna throw down the Cornelius girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a horn. I don't know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? No. No, I don't know what you're saying. What? <laughs> they should have to do hand signs to each other. Hey, can you hear me? <clears throat> Tifa? Yes? <laughs> you okay? We've met, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I look fine as hell, okay? I... We don't have okay. to dwell on that. Yeah. Man, that they fucking line delivery is so good. I laugh at it every time, <laughs> it's so good. Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. So we did a, like, shit ton of side quests Thanks. and... Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. Could it be so the giant city the rocking himself. explosions that come every few days? Hmm. Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, 
But then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then so I killed closer, the other candidates. <laughs> because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, <laughs> if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. He's such a grumpus. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess not. You? Me? And yet he's like Cloud? a trooper about it. Makes like he still goes he along with it. it. He doesn't whine that it. much. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. I don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Oh, could it be the person-sized cage you're right next to? <laughs> be all these little implements to poke people who are strapped to this uh, hmm 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 how about all these buckets of, of like industrial strength cleaner now ladies listen up I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy but tonight's auditions about to begin head out the door to the left and up the stairs come on ladies let's hustle all right guys let's do this <laughs> do you want to do this? You don't get to be a Corneo lackey of, of this stature unless you really put your enthusiasm into everything. <laughs> Gotta be hyped to work for the Don. Who's this big boy? Hey, big boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. You should have to put your money up the nose. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, I love that this thing is like one of the first looks you actually get at what Don Corneo looks like. <laughs> it's just a fucking <laughs> vending machine made to look like him. And I guess the boss baby drawing version of him that's at the, the Coliseum, but... Mm -hmm. No? So yeah, this is like Tifa's canonical dress. Uh... Mm -hmm. All the way back in chapter three, after you do all the side quests, and you know she talks well, about like going out in the town. What should she wear? That's what determines what she wears. Uh, uh, this is something mature, if I recall. Uh, yes. So? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. There's also sporty and exotic. The sporty one makes her look like Chun Li, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> and the exotic one is just kind of like a, a kimono, but very short. Come on, you know you're into this. Refusing to answer, leaving, the, goodbye. No, no, I plead the fifth. Let's interrogate a mob boss. I have a right to remain grumpus. <laughs> it has been too long since I've done something cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting the shakes. Where are those kids when you need them? Yeah. He treats kids calling him cool like a Red Bull. He just, he just sort of shakes one up. Oh, yeah. Okay, my beautiful ladies. Time to line up for the Don. <sighs> no, these guys don't look like they're from Yakuza. They look like they're from God Hand. That's it. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. He's more, a little more God Hand. Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm-mm. Uh, uh, Whatever. All right! Y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you expect nice. the door to open. Yeah. You already know. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Hmm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hey, 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 touching's extra. He's got gut jiggle physics. He sure does. Oh, yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Look at it go. <laughs> Today's bride-to-be is... Today's? 
Phantom tomorrows, or the day afters, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, One yeah. Omni Slash and that stupid hair is gone. <laughs> yep. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. Excuse you? <laughs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you. There's a brief me. time when uh a trailer for this game first came out and they showed like a small clip of Don Corneo here where I thought he was being voiced by Mark Hamill because Square Enix has <laughs> had him voice some of their characters in the past. Also, mm -hmm. wow, that the jiggle in that gut. What yeah. was that? Don't you worry, it's mesmerizing. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> You could literally just throw a fireball at your face at any time. Like, <laughs> you're pushing your luck, buddy. Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Koch and Scotch are absurd. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so this cutscene spawned a pretty popular meme for a while, which is Aerith with a big fucking chair. <laughs> Wait! She's so happy! It's so good. <laughs> good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Best friends forever. Yay. Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing I knew he was a bike here. messenger. I knew it! <laughs> I was hoping the delivery man would be Johnny because he's so fast. Just finish the job. <laughs> he just fucking like busts through the wall Thank like you. Bugs Bunny style with your stuff. The first pizza joint to hire Johnny is going to just completely take over the market. <laughs> okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Oh man, this song that's playing right now is like a, a new remix of uh, Tifa's theme. This is the only part in the entire game where it plays, <laughs> uh, which is a shame because it's a really good, <laughs> it's a really good song. What a shiny refrigerator! Oh my goodness, it's been polished to a mirror sheen. Yeah, it's been quite a while since we've had Tifa in our party, uh, but. Even so, she's still been leveling up us alongside us, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, we're still using the Sonic Strikers with her that we picked up a little bit before fighting the Air Buster. We mm -hmm. Well, after hearing that one guy's voice, yeah. Yeah. And we also got uh, a new weapon, the Arcane Scepter for Aerith, that we got from uh, Chocobo Sam after fu doing his little, like, Coliseum <laughs> side quest thing. Mm -hmm. Um... The Arcane Scepter uh, has a ton of upgrades just for increasing how much MP you have. Uh, two pairs of Link slots, very good. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, might not have as high of like, a magic attack set as other weapons, but it's it's really good just if you want to cast just a lot of magic without running out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just the Link stuff too. Also, uh, the Stagger Siphon ability, which I don't think we've had this on a weapon yet, but uh, yeah, if you attack an enemy with uh, abilities while they're staggered, uh, you'll heal yourself. Ooh. Yeah. 
There's a couple, there's a, each character has like one or two weapons that have like a mix of abilities that let you like heal yourself uh, while staggering enemies and also like staggering them quicker than normal. But yeah, we've picked up a lot of new materia. Also, I really wish you could see <laughs> Tifa wearing the champion belt. Yes. I, I really hey, want that. She's not the one who hit somebody with a steel chair. Come yeah. on, come on. <laughs> it's true. Uh, yeah, we have some new materia that pair really well with Tifa, mainly uh, the ATB stagger and assist materia. Um, any materia in this game that, like, you do perform some type of action and it generates more ATB for you or the rest of your party is really good on Tifa because she's already so fast that she's right, building right. up more gauge than the other characters. Also giving her the parry materia because... Uh, just like with Deadly Dodge, you know, it works differently for whichever character is wearing it. Uh, and Tifa's probably the best with the parry materia. I, 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 slightly later in this episode, I actually have to uh, do an aside like we're doing fucking a Let's Play Metal Gear Rising or something to explain how it works. <laughs> it's hard to just... <laughs> it's hard to just, like, show it naturally in combat and, like, explain it in time because it happens so quickly. So you're just totally rebuilding uh, uh, these three now that now that they are a party for the first time. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've had a full party, but yeah, Cloud's just going with the, the hard edge. It's his strongest weapon, uh, and I'm trying to increase his defense as much as possible because uh, there's some items we're going to pick up soon that uh, will be pretty good on Cloud, but it's going to lower his defense in the process. Mm -hmm. Also, switching over to the new limit breaks for Cloud and Aerith, although it's going to be a little bit longer before we can actually see them in action. Uh, Aerith's level 2 limit break makes the entire party temporarily uh, immune to physical damage. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. Wish I could get hit with the chair. <laughs> I see you managed to get out, huh? <laughs> you want to have fun with us? Here he comes! All right, so I talked about, you know, putting the parry material on Tifa. This gives her a sliding dash. Ooh. Uh, it's super fast. You know, it still counts as a block as well. It does a little bit of damage. When you hit enemies with it, it can actually juggle lighter enemies like this hey. just by dashing into them. You bastard! But the really handy thing is you can use that slide to cancel out of a lot of Tifa's animations. Ah. So the most recent ability she has is Focus Strike. It's that ability that doesn't increase a stagger a little bit, but it generates more ATB when you hit people with it, so you can kind of spam it a couple times in a row. Right, right. Um, but when you use that ability, uh, it has like a long cooldown animation where she like bounces off the guy and then has to land on the ground. So it's like a second and a half where you cannot spam that ability. You're just waiting for her to land. The instant that move hits an enemy, you can cancel out of it with the slide. And so you can actually <laughs> spam way more uh, focus strikes in a row than you normally could if you were waiting for the animations to finish. It's pretty awesome. And yet, just basically any attack Tifa has, the instant it connects with an enemy, you can cancel out of it with this dash. <laughs> Here he comes! This one's for you! Also, Aerith has a new ability with this new weapon. Uh, Fleeting Familiar uh, spawns... Uh, a magical butterfly. She gets a little friend. Yeah. She is a magical princess. She is friends to the creatures. <laughs> uh, this basically gives her, like, a, a, an option, like she's the ship from Gradius or something. <laughs> yeah, you spawn that. Now you have this little magic butterfly orbiting around you. Uh, and every couple of seconds on its own, it'll shoot a little, like, magic bullet at enemies for you. Um, but it will also shoot additional uh, bullets whenever you perform an ability or a magic attack, and it works kind of differently based on what ability you're using. Ah, so there we go. If I use Soul Drain on this guy, the butterfly will sh fire off like three or four additional shots that juggle him up further and further into the air. <laughs> Tag 
checking out. I got this. Like, if you cast a fire spell, the butterfly will fire off a shot that is also the fire element. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get fired up! Get <sighs> Moving on, then. The Fleeing Familiar was a ability I didn't use much my first playthrough, because I was just like, this doesn't seem that useful, until, like, on my second playthrough, I was just like, oh, wow. <laughs> It's like juggling dudes constantly, like almost doubling her damage at times. So there's a ring in here that when you have it equipped, it just makes you permanently pissed off? Hell yes. So we're putting it on a cloud. So yeah, whenever you have this ring equipped, every battle you enter, uh, you will automatically have the berserk status on you. So <laughs> lower defense, but increased attack. Which is why I was trying to increase class t uh, defense earlier to make up for this. But yeah, this is like an additional like 20% attack bonus just by default. Mm -hmm. As long as you're wearing this. It's pretty great. It's got the spikes on the, the studded bracer, but on the inside, that's how it works. Oh, no. I don't know too much about the series myself, but I've seen some people say, man, this song sounds a lot like uh, music from Tekken. And if I remember correctly, the one of the composers for Tekken actually just, just write this song for, for the game. <laughs> Funny how that works out. Yeah. Also saw some people going like, oh, wow, after hearing this song, I want Tifa in Tekken. She makes, makes way too much sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and it wouldn't be the first time. I think Tekken... Yeah, Tekken already had a Final Fantasy character in it. The uh, Noctis, the protagonist from 15, is in that game, I think. Is it that much stranger than just, like, a bear? Yeah, she fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see Tifa fight a bear. Yeah! Several bears. Oh. There's more than one bear in the Tekken series. <laughs> uh, we also picked up an otherworldly crystal! Ooh. Uh... It just makes every uh, negative status effect or debuff uh, last a shorter amount of time when you've got it equipped. It's, it's handy. Mm -hmm. I, I still kind of prefer the accessories that just make you immune to a specific one, but... Sometimes there are areas where there's like a bunch of different types of status effects you could get hit by in one battle, so... Now, is there a way to use the save editor to replace uh, any of Aerith's uh, magic sticks with the chair? She just swings that chair around over her head all the time and, and magic bubbles come out. I think it's possible because just a week or so ago, I saw somebody who edited her weapon miles to be cloud swords. So she was swinging around the buster sword you, instead. Can you take over mm -hmm. So yeah, there's got to be a way to just replace it with the chair model if, you can fi if they can find it. It's, it's really the only option. <laughs> yeah. Would kill for a shower. <laughs> Why did you go? Maybe you didn't get picked because Don Corneo thought you were smelly. Maybe mm. you should, probably should have showered before you came if you wanted to z seduce the man. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Now, Cloud's heels should have, like, Sorry, punctured his inflato gut. And you just hear, like, a, a balloon Cloud, deflating noise. Boy. Yeah, he just starts whizzing around the room. <laughs> oh. 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 He's still hot! <laughs> so, you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. 
Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Just think about those beans. <laughs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! You know he just rides public <laughs> transit every day. <laughs> I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> Everybody's threatening these beans. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. Even in the original, Aerith threatens to tear this dude's up. balls off. <laughs> better keep talking. Or I'll smash him. Everybody, <laughs> pick how you want your balls mutilated, dude. You got three offers on the table. <laughs> this whole plan wouldn't work if he were into, like, the whole cock and ball torture thing, though. Like, he would just be like, yes! Tell me what I want, right, or I'll just kiss them gently and put I them to bed. Say no to Anything but that. that. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. When the script what demands it. <laughs> that situation. Mm. Mm. I love the little wiggle he does here. <laughs> <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> At least somebody's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! The tummy jiggle just gets to me every time. <laughs> what are you doing here, normal human man? Are we on schedule? You don't belong! <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000. <sighs> Director Twisty. Get ready for some more skull face ass sounding lines. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Read. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. This 2ST dude reminds me of like, what if Solid Snake had a desk job in the military? <laughs> <laughs> like if you worked at the Pentagon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, oh, beans. So many beans today. Where in the... Uh, feet are sticky. Wait a minute. I've watched Star Wars. Was that guy Jabba yeah, the Hutt? Did he just do that thing to <laughs> me? did the thing! Oh man, I got a choice between both girlfriends. Better make a save before I choose. <laughs> yeah, the, the one you give CPR to lives and the other one dies. This is how the rest of the game goes. Oh no. Do 
Tifa? to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. I fell through her house. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Sure there isn't something else going on? Um. Our first date was at her house? <laughs> Is that normal? I met her mom before I barely even knew Aerith's name, even like. It was all out of order. I think I beat up her ex. I, th I think. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I haven't asked yet. It, it, I mean, I definitely beat him up. It, it's the other thing that I'm not sure about. <laughs> yeah. Did he go? Damn, that guy is Jabba the Hutt. Fuck. <laughs> right? <laughs> I love it. He flexes before he does anything else. This dude's got tooed. Gotcha. I got your note. So yeah, this is another boss from the original uh, Abzu. In the original, he was just called Apps. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's weak to fire, but like actual fire magic doesn't affect him that much, uh, which is why we got Tifa with the fire punches. One of his attacks is just a taunt move, and again, he will just flex at somebody, and it will just hit them with the uh, uh, the Fury status effect. Whoever he flexes at just gets really pissed off. <laughs> yeah, he can poison you and stuff. Uh, in the original game, he wasn't, like, a particularly difficult boss or anything. The most memorable thing about him was he had this move with... The, the tidal wave that would also hurt him as well so there was a chance that he would do this move and then kill himself <laughs> depending on how much health he had left Come on. I'm coming. I like his little grabby hand tail though That's oh yeah fun. yeah on top of just attacking him you can also target his horns there Mm -hmm. mm. Get fired up. Uh, when you do damage to his horns, after a certain amount, he'll get pressured from that. Uh, also, Tifa's the easiest to dodge that attack with, but uh, if he actually lands on top of you, uh, he starts licking you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. No wonder he and uh, uh, Don Corneo get along so well. Yeah. He, uh, and whoever gets licked uh, gets hit with the sadness status effect, <laughs> uh, which is the opposite of Fury, where your defense increases, but your limit break fills really slowly when you're uh, sad. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get serious. That's it. <laughs> it's better to keep trying to aim uh, for his horns. Mm -hmm. Once you drain, like, once you break one of his horns, you can no longer attack the other, so once that's done, you can't, like, pressure him through those means anymore. But, uh, when you, you pressure him, if you hit him with fire attacks, he bursts into flames. Ooh. And that makes him pressured for way longer than normal. So, Tifa just punching him, like, twice just set him on fire. <laughs> And now, because we can cancel out of this move a bunch, we can hit him with, we can like fill up his stagger gauge a lot faster. Also, yeah, he'll put him, he'll put the fire out just by dunking himself in the sewer water. Yeah, I mean, he's not an idiot. <laughs> he's, he's just smelly. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be smelly than on fire, you know, as it happens. That's true. Even the worst of smells I think is better than being on fire. <laughs> Who chained up Abzu? And why? 
Hmm. This one's for you. Like, was that Don Corneo's first try, and then like, this is not not gonna work. I don't know. Like, instead of chains, just a, a really big habitat. Yeah. Just let him loose. Uh, so while he doesn't really have that tidal wave attack from the original game, he does something similar in that he just makes tons of sewage water just spew out of one of the Ooh. grates in the arena. If you get hit by it, it's almost certainly instant death. So it's my turn? Maybe this will do the trick. And he hasn't done it too much yet, but there's a bunch of random, like, puddles of water on the ground, and he can make those spit sewage water at you and poison you. So this dude's, like, all about status effects. Yeah. And, and environmental stuff. Yeah. And yeah, since we're canceling out of Tifa's animations, I was able to hit him with his stagger move six times in a row <laughs> before, w before he uh, dunks in the water. And it filled up like almost three quarters of a stagger bar. So I had another take this boss fight. Sure. Uh, because uh, I needed to show off Fat Chocobo. <laughs> Do your thing. Do your thing, Fat Chocobo. <laughs> We're gonna kill Don Corneo and install Fat Chocobo as mob boss. <laughs> He's already got the look down. Just give him a cigar. So yeah, Fat Chocobo's two abilities that you can have him do uh, is Kaboom, where he just fucking butt stomps the ground really hard. Hell yeah. Fills the stagger gauge a bunch. And he also has Bombs Away, where it's, he just throws a really big cartoonish bomb at stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, again, that's a lot of damage, big area of effect. Uh, can be hard to hit faster enemies with it, because... Fat Chocobo is slow as hell. <laughs> there you go. There, there's that uh, sewage splash. Yeah. Gonna pull back. Take it over. And yeah, if he tries to jump off from the wall to grab you and he whips it, he also gets pressured from that, so. Mm -hmm. Also, I did it. this was just by accident, but I really like this shot of everyone fighting here because they're all just in a line next to each other like it's still a turn-based RPG. <laughs> it's it's completely by accident. Take the lead. Leave it to me. That's it. Come on, Fat Chocobo. Show us what you got. Oh, man. Is Fat Chocobo okay with this? <laughs> are the Moogles his friends, or are they just there to use him as a weapon? It seems to kill him, so I don't know if he's okay <laughs> with this. I mean, I'd be pretty upset, too, if my tongue didn't fit in my face. Yeah. And I spent my entire life licking the sewers. Like, it really looks like... Uh, even if, like, you roll that tongue up, he wouldn't be able to close his mouth at that point. No, he, he survives on sewage and soylent. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. When we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? Hmm. I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll meet up with Barrett. <laughs> I miss Barrett. Yeah. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Have mm -hmm. more awkward conversations with Jesse. <laughs> hey, Jesse, look, there's another girl now. What do you think of that? 
What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. I'm trying to follow Let's the stench, ahead. but it's everywhere, yeah. so I'm just going in a circle. <laughs> Uh, it ain't a video game without a sewer level. No. Sewer level was also in the original, although the original was uh, more of like a transition area. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like two or three screens tops. Uh, this one's a little longer. And so we, we can nothing. expect uh, robot hand puzzles. And oh, yeah. Uh, we can also expect turtle men. <laughs> I love these guys. Right. Oh man, oh man. Yeah. This game had They're... great enemy designs. Right? I like that these uh, guys are intelligent enough to have their own language. Ooh. Uh, they can fan it, uh, fashion their own weapons and stuff. Uh, we'll see later, they even have like a hierarchy. I think UPS is de uh, uh, delivering to the apartment here. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love to look at these guys. Oh. <laughs> Just, nobody can keep their tongue in their mouth, though. This, no. is, a, this is a disgusting place, full of disgusting creatures. <laughs> okay, let's go. The turtle men, kind of difficult enemies. Uh, they have this jump move. Where they'll just, they jump in the air and land on top of you with that spear. Uh, and even when you block it, it does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be a hard attack to actually block because it's pretty fast and they jump nothing to it uh freely when they jump they jump out of the camera's range they'll just be uh, above the yeah. screen so you don't know when they're gonna come down exactly up where the drakes live mm -hmm. they have another uh, ability we won't see until next episode but uh they can inflict the toad status effect on you which turns you into a toad yes and uh the the toad stuff in this game is is pretty great when we get to it it's it's pretty fun mm -hmm. uh but it is missing one aspect i really liked of the original game when you got turned into a toad is that uh Anyone who's a toad would still stand up on their, their back legs like they, they were a person, and they were doing like a little wiggle, like a little dance. They had their, their front legs up like in like a karate pose, <laughs> and they just kind of jiggle and wiggled. It was so good. Hey, Cloud, Cloud, Cloud do, do a flip. Do a flip oh, over cloud. the handrail, Cloud. Go down there. Do a flip. Do a flip. That switch took almost as much thought as a high five. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Ugh, it reeks down here. Well, the Undercity isn't exactly the prettiest place, and we're under that, so... Also, this is like all of Don Corneo's poop water, like... <laughs> we're directly below him, so... Specifically his. He has his own private sewer. <laughs> Uh, new weapons for Tifa in here. We'll actually take a look at those in the next episode, but... Mm -hmm. That new weapon probably gives Tifa her coolest looking move in the entire game. It's Ooh. very anime. Oh, okay. It's something Cloud wishes he could do. <laughs> a double front flip. Ooh. Potions and music. That's the two things I'm passionate about. Yeah. The oppressed. As a kid, was Cloud the 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 kid who is always telling his mom, like, hey, look, I'm going to dive in the pool. Mom, mom, look, mom, I'm going to jump in. You're going to miss it. <laughs> I'm going to do a cartwheel now. Mom, are you looking? And we've met his mom, so mm -hmm. I don't, she'd be the kind that's already looking and Cloud mm -hmm. would, would just feel overwhelmed. Okay. With the fact that his mom is looking at him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we got a couple little extras here just for talking to Don Corneo. And we get to see this that wonderful animation again. <laughs> when they're faced with certain death, jackass. Testicular death in this case. Not what we were looking for. But you can find it in the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the original, there's no difference, it's just flavor. I don't know. When they've lost their minds? Hell yeah, high fives around. <laughs> Close, but no cigar! Your parting gift... ...is in the sewers. And there's another one for just not answering at all. <laughs> <laughs> the cannon route, I, I would say. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, time's up. The answer lies in the sewers. This game's rigged. <laughs> Aerith. Uh, Cloud. I picked you as my girlfriend this time. We have to get to Sector 7. You seem way more yeah. fragile than the person who's constantly wearing elbow pads. <laughs> That's a way shorter That's scene. She, she does wake up pretty quick.